Well, I've added a couple sounds since you heard this before, so let's play you where I am so far, and then we'll talk about how I got here. So I decided that it needed an opening before the rhythm came in. First, I decided that the rhythm shouldn't come in until those graphics start to pop on. And so I made that choice. And then when I took the drums out, it needed something to open with. So that filter open is an expand plugin. And it's up here in ambience and effects. And it's plus 42 down here at the bottom. Decided it needed that. Next thing it needed was the drone, and that's the little melodic thing. I decided that it needed something consistent through the first five bars, but it also needed something that's changing. And so because I decided to write it in E, no particular reason, I decided that I would go from E to G to A to B to D, and then back to E, like this. So there's the loop. That didn't change from the last time you heard it. And then I added a bass part here, which is just a sort of an octave, ba 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 and uh, quantized that. I have not changed the note length, as you can sort of see here. Some of them are longer than others. The bass is being played by an instrument, the synth that we haven't seen yet, called Vacuum. It's a very big little guy, huh? And there are lots of patches for bass. I just chose the simple bass, but there are lots of other choices you have here. So that also ships with Pro Tools 11 and is a real nice analog sort of modular synth. Those are the choices so far. Oh, one other thing I did. The loop did change a little bit. The original pitch of this loop was... And the tabla was tuned against my dominant pitch of E. So I decided that I would, I'm, I'm walking up the keys now. I walked the tabla up to E. So it's now playing here. And let's just listen to it. And if we listen to it with the drone, So, does it matter if your tabla is tuned to your drone? Well, maybe not, but why not, right? It makes uh, sense if you can do it to have everything getting along in your session. So that's how I chose the sound palette for this one. I did want to show you one more thing about scoring video. There really isn't anything I want to add to this, but let's just talk our way through this and you'll see what I mean. So let's pretend that I have a cymbal crash or I have some sound effect that I want to occur on each one of these four markers. I would switch to spot mode. Let me give myself a new track, shift command N, and this is gonna be a new stereo audio track. And let's move him to the top. And we'll call him spot. Find something, this is clearly not the right sound, but I will bring it in just to show you the process here. And I'll put it in the clip list. And then with spot, which is F3, by the way, of the F1, 2, 3, and 4, I bring it to the timeline, and the dialog box pops up, and it says, where would you like me to place this? Is it a bar and beat reference? If this beach ambience were, pretend with me now, the background vocal of the chorus that happened every time the chorus happened? And you would want to place this on bar 17 and bar 33 and so forth. So is it reference to that? Or is it reference to a particular time code? Is it where you're dropping it? Or you type in the time code here and then it places it exactly where you want it to be. So it turns out that my reference is probably a bar reference of bar 6. And it puts it right on bar 6. 
And then I can actually drag another one back here and put it on bar seven and drag yet another one back here and put it on another one. And it kind of doesn't matter where I drop it in the timeline. Remember in shuffle mode, it's gonna go honk over here to the left wall. In slip mode, it's gonna go exactly where I drop it. In spot mode, it's going to go where I tell it to after I set the correct number in this box. So that's spot mode. It's really not any more complicated than that. It took us a while to get to it, but it's very handy for taking something from the clip bin and placing it on a precise place in the timeline that's defined either in bars and beats or SimptiCode.